New Yorkers are strong, and I believe we are strongest when we are working together, standing together, and taking care of each other. Which is why in these seemingly uncertain times, it is most difficult for us to stay apart from each other while we protect each other. And sometimes that will weigh heavy on us all. While I know we will be able to stand together soon, as soon as it is safe to, the reality is that right now we are all experiencing a very real anxiety. I've said it many times, and I will say it now. Meditation can help combat this. I begin and end my day every day with 20 minutes of meditation. It's been a tremendous tool for me, and I know that right now it is helping me stay grounded, measured, and clear in my thinking. Today, I wanted to share this with you, so I have asked my friend John Aaron to walk us through a guided meditation. My hope is that New Yorkers, those who have practiced meditation and those who may feel like they don't know how to meditate, will join us today. While we may be feeling isolated socially by our physical separation, we can still come together spiritually through meditation and unity. John, can you start with a 30 second overview about yourself and your meditation practice? Sure, I'd be happy to. Happy to share this with everyone. So I teach meditation on a regular basis. I teach what's commonly referred to as mindfulness meditation, which includes a whole expanse, expanse of meditations. And what I'll guide us through right now touches on various parts of this practice. And while what we're doing now is for 20 minutes, it's actually something you can do for three minutes. There are very many options. And I'm just gonna give us some basics to get you all started. But basically, meditation is about turning toward, turning toward what is, turning toward what's happening right now but turning toward it in a very specific way, turning toward it with openness, with kindness, without trying to push it away, but rather with accepting what's here right now. So whether we're feeling anxious or scared, whether we're feeling angry, whether we're feeling isolated, whatever our feeling is, can we turn toward it with an open-heartedness that allows us to be with this in a very different way. So that's what meditation has the potential to do. And if we just take a moment to stop every once in a while and check in, we can really, as the borough president said, we can learn to ground ourselves and provide the space which allows us to be fully present with what is just now. Thanks, John. And I think the most powerful thing you stated was to check in. I think we move in our busy lives. We deal with all the crises and trauma that we don't take a moment to just really check in with ourselves. And I want to take this moment and show people how to check in. So let's hop right into it. And we want to hear from you. What are the first steps to participate in, in this practice? So the first step is simply to stop. The first step is to stop and either sit down or if you'd like to do this standing up, you can do it standing up. Find a comfortable chair but not one that is so comfortable that you're gonna be kind of lounging in it, but a chair that you feel stable in and find your feet flat on the floor. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, close your eyes or just allow the eyes to have a soft gaze on the floor in front of you. And take a few very deep breaths if you're able to do that. And just allow the body to settle in its chair so that you have a posture which is relaxed, but alert. And it might be helpful to just for a few minutes, just open up to the sounds in the space that you're in. The city has gotten much quieter these days, but there's 
Still sound, sounds of birds, sounds of cars, sounds of buses. Just being present with sound as sound. And take a moment then to be present with the sense of touch, sense of contact, contact with the floor, contact with the chair, contact with your clothing. Just be aware of the sensations of pressure and texture and weight. Being aware of what's present in the mind at this moment, what thoughts are floating around. If there's a particularly prevalent emotion, just noting that. And there may be an underlying mood without needing things to be any different than they are just now, just know what's present here at this moment. there's tension in the shoulders, giving yourself permission to soften. Softening the shoulders, softening the hands, face, the eyes, softening the belly. Being aware of other sensations arising and fading away in the body. Some may be more difficult than others, some may be pleasant, some may be unpleasant. Just noticing what's here now. So for many people, the sensation of the breath is a very convenient sensation to just 
allow the awareness to rest on. For others, the breath can sometimes be problematic. So I suggest either the breath or the sensation of your feet on the floor as an anchor for your practice, something we can always return to. So there's just an awareness of the body breathing in and the body breathing out. There's an awareness of the sensation of your feet on the floor. If the sensation of the breath is available to you, you may feel it most at the tip of the nostrils or just the rising and falling of the belly. And when you notice that the mind is drawn away by thoughts and there's internal dialogue happening, no big deal. Just as that's known, gently come back to this body breathing, this body sensing. There may be times when a strong physical sensation arises in the body, like an itch or a pulsing or some other discomfort, perhaps. Take that as an opportunity to just be aware of the sensation without necessarily reacting to it. The reaction is one thing, the sensation is another. Sometimes we notice if we're just aware of the sensation, in a moment or two, the sensation changes or disappears. Just as thoughts come and go, so do sensations. If a strong emotion arises, just note that, name that emotion. This is anger, this is fear, this is frustration. And then gently return to this sensation of the body sitting here, breathing. knowing that whatever you are experiencing, others are experiencing as well.
the air that we are breathing. It's the same air that all of our neighbors are breathing, that all of New York is breathing. And it might even be helpful to imagine the whole city breathing together. The whole country breathing together, the whole world breathing together. So even in this physical separation, we're connected in so many ways. And we often forget that. And in a moment, you'll hear a bell ring, which will end this practice. And as the bell fades away, gently open your eyes and just kind of turning the head gently from one side to the other, sort of connecting again very much with the space around you. I think what's really important to remember, as I said earlier, is that we can stop at any time. Ground ourselves in the body, ground ourselves in the breath. Check in on what's here now. And we don't even have to practice formally. All we need to do when we wash our hands is pay attention to washing our hands, which we're doing a lot of these days. That in itself can be a practice just being fully present with the sensation of our hands, the sensation of the soap, the sensation of the water. Taking that as an experience of practice of meditation. Thank you uh, so much, John. And I hope <clears throat> this is informative to people on how they could just take those moments throughout the day where they could just recenter themselves and check in with themselves. I think sometimes when people hear the term meditation, it means that you have to go to some mountaintop somewhere when in fine you could found, find that place in a washing of your hands, washing the dishes, or sitting down in the morning before you start your day, before you go to bed. So I truly thank you for it. My pleasure, happy to do it. <laughs>